as Leonard Skinner would say. Now there's kids who can't pray in school and hundred dollar tanks of gas, so here's to the women and men that in their hands they hold the Bible and a gun and they ain't afraid of nothing when they're older than one. You take your change on down the road and leave me here with mine. The eighth. Questions, we're going to go meet him with the camera. So if you guys ask the questions, we're going to go meet him. What about NDAA? What about NDAA? The National Defense Authorization Act? Yes, yes sir. sir. that you signed. Section you vote. Are you going to? Uh, section 1021 and 1022. Legislation is good it's done in the military, but there's uh, a couple of sections in there that were against our constitution. What about the rights. drones? Have you, have, you read, have you read the legislation? Yes, sir. Yes. Well, I would, I would suggest that on... Have you? Yes, I have. I would suggest that if I have you... have a copy of it. Well, please do. Bring it up here. <laughs> you can go to the next question. Take me a minute. No, you can bring that on up here. Let's get all this. On the grounds of uh, constitutionality, why did you approve for all 30,000 drones in American skies? Why, why do Americans need to be uh, viewed by 30,000 drones? Thank you for listening for a great job. Thank you very much. is that in the National Defense Authorization Act, there were concerns about some language that was in there about the United States' ability to detain somebody that was a United States citizen, that was a specific, that was not a United States citizen, or that was a United States citizen, I'm sorry. There was a specific piece of wording put in there that, to address that issue. No, there wasn't. If you'll bring the legislation up here, I'll read it to you. He's very looking for us. He's elected by us, sir. He can find it more ages. He's bringing it. We don't want to overshadow it. We welcome to thank all of you for service to our district.